Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. We just got word, it's, it's a category four hurricane. It's a category four hurricane. A dangerous storm moving its way on through, that's Hurricane Harvey, now a category. FEMA sent out this request government-wide. You know, I took it up and I presented it to the chairman and he was like, you know, let's support this. There were agencies all across the government who stepped up. Small agencies of only 100 people might send two or three people. We sent 64. We came down from the clouds on our flight in. Um, everybody wanted to look out the windows. Everybody wanted to see what, what it looked like on the ground. And you really, um, you really started to understand the extent of the damage. I was one of the first volunteers to arrive in St. Thomas and the island was completely ravaged by Irma and Maria. Uh, it was very hard to find any stretch of land that um, seemed normal. Total chaos. There were law enforcement personnel everywhere, um, FEMA personnel everywhere, all different types of federal agencies working together. People are generally very good and very honest and resilient and um, they want to succeed and survive and all they need sometimes is just a little help. We would go from small town to small town in the mountains and register people for FEMA benefits. Some people unfortunately were living in uh, cars or having to live with relatives because their homes were not safe to live in. And on top of the physical damage there was the, the impact on, uh, on the people. You could see the, the physical and emotional impact on people's faces and it was, it was overwhelming. And one morning an older woman walked into the DRC. It came out during the course of the conversation that she had buried her daughter the day before. And it really took on a, a different tone for me that day. Um, it made me realize that um, sometimes people just, just need you to listen. I realized how important the work that I was doing really mattered to those that needed it the most. I think everybody in their own way helped contribute to this program. Not just those that went out to volunteer, it's those that were willing to stay behind and to help cover everything that we still needed to get done. It makes you realize what we're really truly here for as federal employees. We're here to serve the American public in whatever way necessary, and I think that's what the t this program really stood for, is all of us coming together to help.